Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hi and welcome to Robocase. My name is Shiv and in this video we'll go over six tips, tricks and hacks about the Raspberry Pi that you may not know about. So let's get started. Number 1. Is your Raspberry Pi overheating? If the Raspberry Pi detects that the CPU cores are beyond a certain temperature, they'll display an icon on the screen to notify the user. If the temperature is between 80 to 85 degrees Celsius, a half thermometer symbol is shown in the top right hand corner of the screen. Above 85 degrees Celsius, a full thermometer is shown. During this overheating event, the Raspberry Pi will throttle back its CPU in an attempt to cool down the cores. You will lose performance during this time. Number 2. Is your Raspberry Pi getting enough current? The Raspberry Pi requires a minimum amount of current and voltage to function properly. If the Raspberry Pi detects that the current or voltage is going below a certain limit, it will display a lightning symbol on the top right hand corner to notify the user. You might want to check your adapter if it's capable of delivering the required amount of current or check your Raspberry Pi to find out the reason for the high current drop. Number 3. Headless Wi-Fi and a set setup on the Raspberry Pi. Connect the SD card to your laptop or computer and go to the boot drive. Scroll down and right click to select create new text document. Ensure you have enabled the file extensions in your explorer. Name the file SSH and remove the extension. This will enable SSH on your Raspberry Pi. Right click again and select create new text document and name it WPA underscore supplicant. Leave the TXT for now as we have to add some data to it. Open the text file and paste the following into it. Change the country code. For us, it will be IN for India. And now we will put a dummy SSID and password for a Wi-Fi network. Once you have entered your details, save it and close it and change the extension of the file to CONF. This will configure Wi-Fi for your Raspberry Pi and enable SSH on it. So you would not require a screen. Number four, Sonic Pi. Sonic Pi is a coding based music creation and performance utility. Head over to the Sonic Pi website and scroll to the example section. Here you will find numerous examples of pieces written. You can play any one of them like this one. Now isn't that cool? You can scroll for more examples and other supported platforms. Number 5. The Pi Home Theater System. You can convert your Raspberry Pi into a miniature low-powered home theater system by installing a software called Kodi. Just install the Kodi software on your Raspberry Pi and connect it to a TV. For more information and guide on how to use it, check out the Raspberry Pi official website. Number 6. Is there an intruder? The Pi is watching. By using a PIR sensor and a Raspberry Pi camera, you can easily convert your Raspberry Pi into a miniature home security system. As soon as the PIR sensor detects motion, you can use the Raspberry Pi to capture an image and to find out who the intruder is. If you like this video, leave us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you missed out on any tips or tricks that you may know about. Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more such cool content. Thank you for joining us and I'll see you next time.